type English. Let's see standard the the first unit one subject English. Standard the the first unit one subject English. Topic the two parts. Topic the two parts. Now let's complete the story. Okay, students, do you like story? Yes. Who tells the stories? Our grandparents. What is this? This is smart pot. Now, look at this picture. What is this? This is also pot. It is made up of alloy of copper and zinc. That is brass pot. Okay, students, shall I start the story? There are two parts. One is mud, another one is brass. Both of them went to the river to play. Brass says, I will swim in the river. But you cannot swim. But says, why? Brass says, if you get on a rock, you will break. Mud says, let me try. Now both of them started Swim in the river. Brow says, let us swim deeper. Now Brow's ready to swim deeper. Mud is saying, no, we should not go deeper. We should go back to the river bank. Mud went to back to the river bank. But Brow should not return back. Now, Mud is stands for the safe place. But Bros is going on. The river was so deep. Bros can't swim in the river. Bros says, help, help. Now Mud uses a stick from river bank to help. After that, both of them decided not to play in the river. They only play by the river. Ok students, let us read. The two parts. There are two parts. Mud and brass. Mud and brass go to the river to play. Brass said, I will swim river, but you cannot. Mud said, why? Brass said, if you Get the rock, you will break. Mud said, Let me try. Mud and Bros start to swim in the river. Bros said, Let us swim deeper. Mud said, No, let us go back to the river bank. Mud went back to the river bank. But Bros went on. Soon the river was deep and Bros was not able to swim. Help! Help! said Bros. Mud used a stick from the river bank to help. After that, Mud and Bros do not play in the river. They only play by the river. Ok students, what do we learn from this story? We should not be proud of ourselves and we should not underestimate anybody. Shall we move to page number 83? Big picture. Ok students, now look at this picture. You have to view the things closely. Based on this, I will ask some questions. Already the answer for First question is given. So, let's read the second question. What is in the boy's hand? A bat is in the boy's hand. What is on the wall? A clock is on the wall. What is under the table? A ball is under the table. What is in the tank? The fish is in the tank. What is on the sofa? A pillow is on the sofa. What is on the cupboard? A flower vase is on the 
cupboard. What is on the hanger? A gurda is on the hanger. What is color of the wall? A color of the wall is yellow. What is the time by the wall clock? The time is 4 o'clock. Okay students, now shall we go to page number 78. Let us know. Let us see how the clown counts the things. Clown means joker. In first picture, joker is having three balls. So, it is countable. In second picture, he has two balloons. So, it is also countable. In last picture, he is having salt. So, salt is uncountable things. He is confused. He cannot count the last one. Do you think? Shall I go to page number 77? Let us use. See the first picture and second picture. Indicates may I come in in madam. Second picture indicates can I use your book. So we should always ask permission and want anything. We can use may I and can I. I say few examples. May I go? May I play? Can I read? Can I close? Okay. We should always ask before doing anything. We can use may I and can I. Okay. Thank you students. Start for the day. We should not be proud of ourselves and we should not underestimate anybody. Stay home, stay safe.